Welcome to the MearSpring document, a revolutionary way to access and process high throughput sequencing data for microRNAs. This video tutorial will provide a brief overview of the MearSpring document features. The MearSpring document is a small HTML file which can be opened in any browser, either on your computer or mobile device. It reproduces the complete microRNA sequencing component of a high throughput sequencing dataset and is fully functional without the need for internet connectivity. There are two modes of visualization. The first is the global visualization mode, which is what you are looking at now and what you see when you first open the document. This page contains an XY scatter plot and a tabulated list of microRNAs. Both of these features display the whole dataset. The XY scatter plot can be configured to display a specific feature of microRNA processing or abundance. The default cumulative reads graph plots the cumulative distribution of the dataset where the most abundant microRNA is represented by the leftmost dot. The second dot is the sum of the first plus the second, and so forth. Notice that when the mouse moves over a dot, the corresponding name is listed beside the graph. Plots of other microRNA features include length, isomeres, arm processing, and non-canonical processing. For each of these, the x-axis corresponds to the abundance, and it is plotted on a log scale, such that the most abundant microRNA corresponds to the rightmost dot, and the y-axis corresponds to the selected feature. Please see the global XY scatterplot video for detailed information on these graphical outputs. At the top of the global visualization page are functions to export the data. Please refer to the, the export features of the MearSpring document video series for more information on this. The table provides a ranked list of microRNAs and their corresponding counts. The functional buttons located within the table header sorts the table in ascending or descending order. The other mode of visualization is referred to as the focus view. To navigate to the focus view, Simply either select a dot on the XY scatter plot or select the details tab located in the table. The focus view displays all the sequencing information relating to that particular microRNA. At the top is the global genomic cluster report. Sorry, the genomic cluster report. All microRNAs that are located within the defined distance, in this case it's 25,000 nucleotides are graphed below. The height of the bars represent relative expression level. So in this example, Mi145 is more abundant than Mi143. The arrows indicate the transcriptional direction. So it is possible these two microRNAs are derived from a polycystronic primary transcript. The green bar represents the microRNA in focus and selecting another bar will focus the document to that particular microRNA. At the bottom of the focus view is the sequencing information. We are shown the genomic coordinates of the microRNA and the nucleotide frequency histogram. The green color represents the nucleotides that are described in MeBase to represent a processed microRNA. In this example, we see that the majority of transcription comes from the 5P arm, and there is a small portion of transcribed nucleotides at the 3' prime end that are not defined in MeBase, and these are highlighted by the red color. The black bar at the base of the nucleotide frequency histogram highlights the window used to accept reads as a processed microRNA. Reads that start within this region are flanked with dots on the 5' prime end, whereas sequences that do not are flanked with dashes. The sequence data can be viewed in, two, in one of two formats. I have established a new format that collapses all reads that start at the same 5' prime position and one, into one line. The variations at the 3' prime end are highlighted by different colors and these colors correspond to the 3' prime isomer frequency histogram. 
The length of the most abundant 3' isomer is listed in the rightmost column. I'll have to scroll across to see that. So in this case it's 23 nucleotides. Alternatively, the user can select to display a more traditional method by selecting Show All Tags. Finally, there is a bunch of statistics relating to the microRNA also displayed in this window. Note that the generic back button will not be functional when using this document. Instead, use this floating menu to navigate you back to the, the main menu or the, the global visualization page. That is the end of this tutorial. This software was created by David Humphreys at the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute. It is free to use, for, especially for academic use, and if you plan to use it in your research, please cite my paper, which is linked on the website mearspring.victorchang.edu.au. Please visit the other Mearspring video series to get a more in-depth understanding of this document. Thanks for listening.